Warren, how on earth do you sum that one up? Uh, honestly, Toby, I don't know. Uh, first of first of all, half time one 0 down. We're still positive. We're still in the game. I kind of stuck for words to be honest. We're still positive, still in the game. We start second half really well. We go and score four goals, and then we switch off. And I don't know. I don't know what, what how to say. Like, I don't know what what words to say. Like, I don't know what happened to be honest with you. But three goals down my side as well. So three goals in a row, kind of identical as well. Crosses which we worked on in training. And, uh, Yes, yeah, it's, it's a tough one to take. I must say, it feels like two points definitely dropped. Um, I think the whole place felt rocking at 4-1. You know, the, the mood certainly amongst the supporters and out here at half-time was positive. Everyone felt like you were, you were still well in the game. Yeah, that's just what I said. Like, you know, we, I think it was the best performance we've had in the second half all season. You know, we, we stuck it to a team that's in playoffs, a team that we were last year. And... We all know where we are this season, and we played like we were the best team in the league. You know, like we really, really were positive for 70 minutes. I want to say, but football is 90 minutes long, and uh, yeah, it's a kick in the teeth. I'm not gonna lie. When that set Barnsley second one goes in, did did, did the confidence get take a knock? Was it just a, you know just a quick fire double that, that sucked the life out of you? Honestly, when the second one went in, I was thinking well, I was still two goals ahead. Uh, and then they literally just went up and scored again. And that's when, I don't want to say panic, but that's when you start thinking, please, don't, don't, don't happen today. And what happened, happened. You know, and look, we'll have to park it. We'll have to forget about it, because Sunday we need to go and win. Regardless of what happens now, we need to go and win. We take positives for 70 minutes. We're the best team on that pitch today for 70 minutes against a top four team. We need to go and play like that on Sunday for 90 minutes, go and win the game and hope and pray Wednesday goes their way for the games of the teams around us. Well, that's it, isn't it? You know, you'll be looking at, at that result Wednesday and, and, and hoping that, that Burton can do you a favour and then hoping that Burton do you another favour next Sunday. Yeah, the whole uh, earth eight lies with Burton really now, doesn't it? Um, especially on Wednesday. Obviously, we want them to win or, yeah, go and win. And then against us on Sunday, we want to beat them. And uh, look, that's football, it's the position we're in. We need to look at ourselves, take responsibility for it. We've had, what, 45 games? 45 games to get ourselves out of this situation. And there was a stage where we think that we couldn't even get this chance. And we have this chance still. There's still a glimmer that things can go our way Wednesday and things can go our way Sunday just be replicating that first 70 minutes when it going going to Burton and just getting as getting as far ahead as you can. That's it. Go and win the game. Go and win a game of football for 90 minutes, 90 plus minutes, because it's not 70 minutes long and we're haunting. <laughs> it's not that well, you know. I'm emotional doing this interview and I wish the ground would just swallow me up really for the for the for the day. And look, Monday we need to come in, we need to be positive, we need to look at what went wrong for the goals for starters, but look at what went right. Like. Was, we played really good stuff today. We soaked up pressure and we had to discipline. And the boys up top and in the middle worked really hard for us today. And uh, from this last home game of the season, 4 1 against top four, I thought it was written in the stars for us to, to finish the game off like that, you know, and be buzzing and have this interview another way. It didn't work like that, and that's football. Um, the, the lap of appreciation at the end, there was a lot of fans quite disappointed actually by it because it wasn't. As, as interactive, I suppose, as, as ones we've seen in previous week, uh, previous years. Yeah, definitely. You know, we were 4-1 up and we drew 4-4. We're still on the pitch. We haven't had time to let it sink in. Granted, yeah, maybe we, we could have done a little bit more for the fans and I'll hold my hands up and say oh, we should have, maybe. They've been with us through the whole season. They backed us today. Definitely, they backed us today. We could hear them and loud voices which was lovely for us but just I think it just I just we were just in a bit of shock still I'm gonna call it and we just had a little bit of emotions in our bodies and in our heads and a bit cloudy of what just happened and where we're at we really wanted to win that game today you know we nobody gave us a chance really you know we just had to go out and play and win and listen if you had off me a point for the game we would have took it without playing it and then we played it 
if you had offered me a point after 70 minutes, I would have said you can get out of here. I want to play the next 20. And look, we got a point in the end. And yeah, look, apologies. I think that's maybe the right thing to do is maybe say we should have been more interactive, if that's what you want to call it. But it's been an emotional season for us boys, you know, and uh, it's, it's been an emotional one for myself as well. And up and down, it's a roller coaster. That's what this sport does to you. The fans have been great. They've been really, really good for us. And we need them this Sunday for one last push. One last push is all we need to go out and win again football and look at the table after and see where we're at. We saw what Max Waters got off here last season. Was it just one of those ones where it was just much easier to know what he was doing, much harder to stop it? Look, we had Max here for a reason because he's a top player. Um, <laughs> when I seen him coming on, I was actually thinking, oh, he can do damage because I've seen him do it for us last season. and. He's at, I think he's still at Cardiff, which is a championship club, you know, for a reason. And look, it happens in football. Then the players come back to their old club and they go and put two passes, and I think he got an assist as well. And it, that's even, that hurts even more because I know him, I've played with him, I know what he can do. And I just, most of us know him who are still here from last season. And in fairness, Max has always been good and to chat to and things like that, but today he really, uh, it really hurt us. It was frustrating that it came so soon after what happened against Cheltenham here two, three weeks ago? Yeah, we, uh, look, that's in the past. This game is in the past. Yeah, we conceded a late winner against, uh, late to get a draw, sorry, Cheltenham to get a draw in a 2-1, 2-2 two, two, two game. And we should have been comfortably 2-1 up, Crews and Matri, an extra three points, an extra two points. Today we should have three. And it's over, the game is done. You look at the positives, we have to go for Sunday. We go away on Sunday, fingers crossed for Wednesday. And yeah, dust ourselves off, we need to go again, you know, and that's, that's the way it goes. Is the case as well, just going for the win, no matter what happens with Cambridge on Wednesday? Yeah, definitely. We have to go and win again. We want to win every game. We wanted to win today. We didn't set out for a draw, we didn't set out to lose. We wanted to win, we were 4-1 up. I think the fans realised that we were going for wins. We've been winning, trying to win all season. We're trying to, we, don't, we never step out to a game to go and draw. And regardless of what happens on Wednesday, we're going to try and win that game because that's what professionals do. That's what us. That's what we do. That's what, that's our job. Our job is to go win football games for the club they are, and we're at MK Dons, and we want to beat Bolton on Sunday.